Jeff Osman with Mama Omdat Man after a 95 73 Blazer 5 victory in the turn semifinals over Nick's Gaming. You guys were obviously prepared. Nick's Gaming started, kind of was going on a run into this game. How'd you guys contain them? Yeah, they were pretty hot coming into this game, being the Warriors. Um, we knew that they would change their play style to match us, so they actually copied about the same play style that we have. So we knew how to stop it, we knew where the weaknesses were, and so we attacked. Um, Idris all game, not saying that he's a bad defender or anything like that, but at the same time, his build and shots builder were the same, so we were able to take advantage of that. Idris, obviously a triple-double just last night, so he comes in with a lot of confidence, and it just seemed like you guys were, were in attack mode, and we talked about this before we started. Walnut wasn't really the scorer, it was yeah. all you and shots. Yeah, well, when so once, when one man is killing that much in the beginning, and I was getting, I was going, I had 33, so we were, me and him were just scoring, it was just tough to stop us, so there's no need of Walnut trying to stop that groove, he knew that, and that's what I love about him, even though he's a first rounder pick or anything like that, he knows where his role is at the same time, he knows that he can be a star or he can, you know, he'll fall back. Now we see you and Walnut up dancing, Yeah. are you, do you think, because the Knicks talk a lot, they're the, yeah. the de facto home team in here. Right. Did you feel like you were getting in their head? Oh, yeah. I think after that first quarter, we went up, and we they couldn't score on us. They they started getting mad, and we just started attacking shots. Oh, I mean, it just over and over and over again. And it got to the point where they didn't know what to do. Shots really had the shush move going. Yeah. He was he was doing it inside. You as the point guard, how do you recognize that and keep feeding him like this? I mean, he's killing. He's telling me, I want the ball. I'm going to give him the ball. I'm not going to argue with him because of his shots, even though he's quiet, he's a loud guy in the, in the team huddle. So I just killed him, give him the ball, and he kept on scoring. So you... You can't get mad at him for it. No, you see that stare. And when you guys got out in transition in this game, did the Knicks have any chance on a play like that? No, I no chance. They have no chance. They just, they had no chance. That was a good well, block right a, there. As we, a good block. On cue, yeah, a, a good block there. It. But, um, you know, they, they, the Knicks tried to fight. Obviously, they had. They got Jerry Farrar in the building and everyone. But it felt like these, you know, plays like this, that's threading yeah. the needle a little bit. Is that just chemistry at this point well it's like when somebody's shooting so well you have to help and once the help comes and the person actually makes the right pass it just irritates you because you can't do anything about it you're just stuck you're in stuck mode so that's what kills the other teams we see fire everywhere also what is that what that's is that, that, that move the, that. oh that no that was the lay I, I was a left hand layup so i put my left hand up and goofy just started smiling i mean he knew the game was over at that point we we're up by 20. you hit lavish there he's a pure sharp now how's yeah. he adjusting to that oh he's great he's adjusted greatly he's He's phenomenal. He's probably one of the best sharps in the league now. He's, he's been doing everything defensively, offensively, everything. You still just locked in as this game got on. And, and obviously, it was out of reach. And, you know, you guys at this point, let's stop for a yeah, second and yeah. just admire that. Yeah, that I was, mean, we've never done that. We, we've always wanted to do that. We were like, oh, if we go up too much, we'll throw it up. Because those rarely work. So it was something we wanted to pull up. I back. use way too many alley oops in this game. Yeah. How do you know when an alley oops going to work? He just has to have the lane. If he has a lane, it would work. I wanted to throw one right there. Ooh. I was calling for it, but they, he just shots this one to go. You want to throw that one yeah. down? He just wanted to knock on that one. Shots obviously had a big game, but but what I'm saying is at this point, you guys are beating teams by so much. How do you stay focused at this point? I mean, you have just coasted yeah. to the finals here. We, we enjoy beating teams by a lot. It's a thing where when we get up on you, we want to talk your ear off and get you mad so that the next time we play you, you know that what you're going up against. And so it kind of like, you have to prepare mentally and actually in the game. So it's 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 a variation. I think that's why we talk so much, just to get in people's heads and just get under their skin. And here's a, a little walnut to shots down low. Also, that was not Adam on you. Were they switching around who was guarding you? Yeah, after I, after I had like 30 or 25 or something like that, they just put the small forward on me, just like last game, back-to-back -back game. So, yeah, I've been killing um, opposing point guards. As of right now, hopefully I can finish the job in the finals and we can we can secure it. 95 to 73. You'll probably play the 76. You'll play the 76ers or the Celtics in the final. Yeah. You'll play different opponents throughout the season. Will Blazer Five Gaming hit 100 points? Blazer Five Gaming will hit 100 points one time throughout the season for sure. We were close there. We should have got it done there, but we will hit it. Mom, mom, dad, man, you heard him. 100 points. It will come. Jeff Eisman backstage at the NBA 2K League studio.